Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at Series 18 for the 164 scale single packs by Spin Master Monster Jam for 2021. This assortment has a few trucks that I've been looking forward to since the start of 2021 when the poster was revealed to the world and uh, a couple of them have some pretty good stories to go behind them. I will be talking about a couple things especially with this one right here the Rock Crustacean and how that came to be uh, in the diecast line in a little while here. So we're going to do a quick brief overview of the assortment itself. I always usually put my favorites in the front. Um, I also always put the chase piece in the front. So the chase piece uh, will be the Megalodon Showtime truck. We have the Raw Crustacean, which is my favorite of the assortment. We'll take a look, good look at that later on. Uh, the Bro Camino, a highly, highly requested truck and everyone's been waiting for it. And it's finally here in series 18. The Reckless series winding down, I believe at least with the Reckless Max D. The Higher Education getting the casting update for the 164 scale. I can't wait to show you guys all of the updates with this one. We also have this beautiful Fire Elementals Grave Digger and I cannot wait to look at this one as well. Lots of cool little details in this. The Max Contrast series continuing on with the Blue Thunder. Scooby-Doo is back again as well as the red and orange classic Bakugan Dragonoid. So we're actually gonna start our review here with the Scooby-Doo because I feel like it's out of the entire assortment, obviously my least favorite. Um, we also will take a look at the poster with this one. I would show you guys the card back and the assortment on the back of it. However, uh, for this review, they actually gave me international card backs. I've never had these available for a review before. So it's kind of a new thing here. Um, for this assortment, at least, I got a international card back. So you can see it's not um, the normal card back. This is what the international folks would usually see. Uh, for 2021, they have like a big rendering of the truck with the logo. So uh, that's the card back. I won't be showing them on this video. Uh, also, the Series 18 label is in orange. And there's that new uh, wheelie bar uh, deco there that we saw in Series 17. So here we go, Scooby-Doo, the first one of Series 18. Okay, Scooby-Doo, uh, a very familiar face in Spin Master Monster Jam. I think this is maybe our fourth or fifth release of it in a different form, obviously. Uh, we've had it in the singles packs in 2020 in Mix 10. It had brown rims. And uh, in the doubles pack from Mix, I think it was six of uh, 2019, we had the Mystery Machine versus Scooby-Doo. And that one had turquoise rims and BKT printing. This one is uh, back again. Actually, I should show you guys the poster first um, instead of rambling on. Uh, so here's our poster of series 18. And I'm not gonna take a look at the back until we unravel the poster first. Uh, so here is the assortment. And you can see we have uh, the renderings of all the trucks I just showed you, so I won't read them off. I'm just looking for little errors, and it doesn't appear that there are any errors in this poster. Uh, last series, we had a couple um, misplaced uh, little logos, but this one appears to uh, check out. So there it is. The poster in the back has, ah, the Blue Thunder. So I don't think we have received Blue Thunder yet on a poster, so that's really cool to have Blue Thunder right there. So now we have the Scooby-Doo. Here it is. Like I was explaining before, it's just a, a kind of a... It's just a new variation of it uh, to keep it fresh instead of having the same one over and over again. Uh, the changes are it has a turquoise uh, chassis, which I really love. That's my favorite color. And it looks really good, in my opinion at least, with this truck, the matching of the color to the chassis. Uh, the black roll cage helps set that chassis color off. And I do like the black rims. I think it helps it a lot. However, I think um, if they did a, a turquoise beadlock, that would have been awesome too. Uh, it would have really set this whole thing off, but uh, not too bad. I do like the Scooby-Doo. I don't think it's terrible, but you know, it's not the most exciting of this entire case. There's a lot of great things in this set that uh, is not obviously Scooby-Doo. Uh, it has a turquoise wheelie bar with a black uh, wheel as well. So there it is, the Scooby-Doo from series 18 of the Rough Crowd. Uh, not the most exciting, but it is pretty cool to have it with that new color. I love that color for the chassis. And next up, it is your series champion, Ryan Anderson of the Bakugan Dragonoid for 2021. This truck is also very obviously the flagship truck of Spin Master, the company truck, and one of my favorites, also piloted by Camden Murphy previously, uh, a good friend of mine. So this one is awesome to have yet again in the normal form. A lot of people did not find Bakugan Dragonoid with the regular paint scheme in 2019. So they did push it forward again for 2021 in the arena favorites. So let's unbox it and check it out. Okay, Bakugan Dragonoid. 
the regular paint scheme. In Series 17, we already have seen a Bakugan Dragonoid, which was the Darkest Neo. And if you guys didn't watch that review, I'll leave it at the end so you guys can check it out. Um, that's the newer color with the green, the black, and the purple. However, that truck, uh, that paint scheme does not run in real life. This is the one that runs in real life on the circuit. And I will compare it really quickly to uh, the 2019 version. And that's for a good reason, because uh, from 2019 to 2021, we have had huge improvements in Spin Master's ability to do graphics and different kinds of um, techniques to make things clear and uh, more accurate to the paint colors of the real truck. So if you notice, the teeth here are chrome on this version compared to the white decals or gray decals of the previous one. The eyeball is now a tampo, so it's much clearer in darker green. The arms are now being painted with paint instead of decal prints. So, so if you look here on the arm, you can see how muddy the colors are uh, because that's actually a direct print onto the arm. But this, in this case, it is actually uh, painted on. So you can see the chrome there even is also painted. And they started using gray for the paint color instead of black. On the original one, they used black, but the real truck uses gray. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you notice up here, all the black printing and the orange, that's actually gonna be on the uh, newer edition, this one, that's actually all paint. So it's much cleaner on the paint edges and just overall uh, looks much better. So I'm actually adding this post review. I've already edited the video and uploaded it to YouTube and scheduled it. But uh, as I was doing the turntables for this truck, I actually noticed that I missed a huge, huge detail change. And this is not the same body as the one from the stunt dial set. So if you look very, very carefully and closely here with like a magnifying glass, you can see that they started to add the driver's names onto the truck. And there is Camden Murphy's name right there on the wing of Bakugan. So it looks like maybe they're starting to do the driver's names on the trucks, but that is something I overlooked in the original review. So I'll be adding this post review, post edit, everything. Um, I cannot have that uh, out of the review. So Camden Murphy is now on the Bakugan Dragonoid. And this one has a black chassis. The horn obviously still moves, has red rims, black tires, black roll cage, a black wheelie bar, and a red wheel. So there is the Bakugan Dragonoid, the Tour Series Champion of 2021, Ryan Anderson. And next up, it is the Max Contrast Blue Thunder. In Series 17, we did have the Max Contrast Series debut with the Dragon. And if you guys didn't watch that review, basically this series is just a black and white deco series of a couple classic Monster Jam trucks. So Dragon was the first one to receive a paint update with the Max Contrast series. And now we have the Blue Thunder. So let's unbox it and check it out. Okay, so Blue Thunder, Max Contrast. I have to be really honest here, I, I love the Max Contrast series and it may seem like a pretty basic uh, idea and series but um, I really think with the Moss Jam fleet, this works very well. And all the details they were able to pull out of this with just two paint colors uh, is pretty insane. So look at Blue Thunder here. They have all of the details of the lightning in black and white. I mean, that's pretty difficult, I'd imagine, to do uh, in whatever program they use to do these graphics, but that is insane. They have black taillights. It says, uh, feel the energy on the tailgate there. So they have all of that detail. Uh, the Moss Jam logo. The front clip here with monsterjam.com, the headlights, they painted the grill black, and then we have the hood there with the Blue Thunder logo and the lightning again on the roof and the hood and that white windshield, which we did see uh, with the Dragon release. So they kept doing that for this one. And it has a white chassis, a black roll cage, white tires, black rims, and a white wheelie bar with a black wheel. So awesome truck. I really do love this series. As simple as it is, I do love this series and I can't wait to see Earthshaker in series 19 and eventually the Gravedigger, which is the one I'm really looking forward to in series 20. So there it is, the Blue Thunder from the Max Contrast series. And next up on the review list is one of the two trucks that I have pretty big stories about. Uh, this is the Higher Education. So we're gonna unbox it before I talk about it. Here we go. Okay, Higher Education. This one has a pretty funny story as to how it got to be a new casting. Uh, so if I pull in the 2019 one here from the Mix 2, I believe, double packs against uh, Bounty Hunter, you can see there's a stark difference. I mean, a big difference between these two. And when this was released, I compared it to the Mattel model and I did like a feedback video for Spin Master at the end of the year. And I basically put Spin Master on blast for this. And you know, they asked me to keep putting input in, in my opinion into my videos. They didn't want me to censor uh, my opinion. So I gave them my true opinion of what I thought about the higher education. And I basically said Mattel's um, higher education was much better, Hot Wheels. 
and that was the truth at the time. So, and I've mentioned this person in my videos many times and he'll continue to get mentioned because this is who's doing this. Uh, Jordan, the designer from Spin Master, listened to that feedback video, took the liberty of recasting higher education in 2020 and originally planned to slate it into the Mix 9 doubles packs for Reveal the Steel against Brodozer. However, due to the paint color of both Brodozer and Higher Education not being up to par, they canceled that pack. But the casting was already purchased, so they had to push that forward, at least use it at some point. So they slated it for early 2021 singles packs, which I'm very happy because now we'll get a normal Higher Education release. So that casting, which was already purchased, already redone, uh, is now making an appearance right here in 2021, outshining the previous one right here, which really, I mean, look at the difference there. That That is a pretty major, major difference. And the details he added far surpassed the Mattel model. So I'm glad that Jordan doubled up on what I talked about and went even more above and beyond with this one. This casting was also seen in 124 scale already. So if you guys haven't seen my Mix 8 review of 124 scale, you guys can check that out in the bigger detail. But this one is the 164 scale. So the first major differences that I noted on the Mattel one was uh, the logo and the district of was missing on obviously this one. So he got the regular actual higher education logo and he added district of, which is accurate to the truck. He also uh, expanded these bumpers on the side of the bus here to be 3D with actual 3D uh, bolts in them. So he did add those uh, instead of these just uh, three thin lines across the side. He added the emergency exit symbol right there at the top there. You can see that emergency exit uh, writing. He also obviously added a door, which was my biggest point about the Mattel one was that the door was missing. I mean, there, there was really no door on this one. So uh, he recasted the truck to have a new door. And he also added a couple more major details that um, I think he just really wanted to go above and beyond with the details. So he did continue to do that. He added this second row of uh, bolts on the top here to split the bus up on the roof. You can see the difference in the roof there. There's also a major thing here. That's the roof hatch. And on the real truck that is there. However, it's not silver. It's just, uh, I think it's a Lexan clear uh, roof to get out of the truck. But I do enjoy that he added a silver roof hatch. It makes it look like a real school bus. And that's just a little creative thing that he added on there. You can even see it has its own little screws, three on each side of the actual roof hatch. So yeah, that's, that's incredible. He also went further with the front. He added uh, Lexan bolts around the windshield. So all of those bolts are screws around the windshield. He changed the headlights to be the real truck style headlights. So it's got a white interior with a big square around it. He added these uh, little pieces here. Um, I'm not sure what to call those, but those are actual little details. And he added a front bumper to the truck. So um, I guess by telling Jordan that he did something wrong, he uh, really wanted to prove me wrong at least and do everything 10 times better. And really he did his job very, very well here. There's nothing to complain about. I absolutely love what he did with this. This is just incredible that he actually took the time to change so many things about this casting. I mean, even the back here has some updates. You can see uh, there are a lot of little added details, lots of bolts, lots of little screws, these little 3D edges. Uh, just refining and refining this truck until it's perfectly uh, accurate, at least to the real life uh, truck and better than the Mattel one. So thank you, Jordan, again, for your uh, continuous ability to take criticism and uh, feedback and use that and recast or redo uh, mistakes of the past and make those mistakes into something that's even better than before. Um, he really is what an artist should be, someone who takes critiques and makes something better out of it. And he really has proven himself to do that. It also has that 3D stop sign, which I love, and it stayed on the truck. It has the gray chassis, the black roll cage like the original one had, and the same school bus yellow uh, rims with the black tires. It also has a silver wheelie bar with a school bus uh, yellow uh, wheelie bar wheel. So thank you again to him. This truck is awesome. He'll be mentioned again in another part of this review, but uh, that's it for the higher education, the new casting for 2021. And now we have the Reckless Trucks Max D. This thing looks so sick. And yes, I'm going to give my opinion on which one's my favorite in this video, like I promised when I reviewed Double Decker in Series 17. But first, let's unbox it. Okay, so Reckless Trucks. I'm not sure if they're retiring after this year, but I feel like it might be coming down to the end of the Reckless Trucks series. But regardless, we still got some pretty awesome trucks. We got two custom concepts, Salvager and Double Decker. And we also got two previously, which I'll show you guys now, uh, two previous competing trucks in Reckless Trucks, which were El Toro Loco and Gravedigger. Gravedigger is hailed as the best one of the competing fleet. 
Um, and honestly, up to this point, I think that's the truth. I really do think Gravedigger is insane. It's really well done. And all the details that they did in this look amazing. But when I saw this Max D, I gotta be honest, I I was um, starting to get a little nervous. I think that I might like this more than Gravedigger, but we'll take a look first and then I'll talk about that in a minute. So here is Reckless Trucks Max D. The first thing you'll notice is that this side panel is uh, the Silver Max D. So they have the Silver Max D side, the face, the Maximus face from the Silver Max D. It is missing some teeth and the eyeball and the speedometer in its face. So that's really cool that they took those little details out of it. They have Tom Mentz Max D, the Monstrum logo, uh, some rust all across the body here and lots of different weathering, different colors on the sides. The front grill here has a split between the black Max D and the red Max D. So you can see they have a, a split hood, which is really awesome. So there's that detail. And the fenders, I believe these are gold Max D fenders, but it could be yellow Max D. Honestly though, I think that they wouldn't do a, a Max D Reckless without adding the gold Max D because that is a significant truck of the fleet. So I'm gonna take it that these are gold uh, Max D fenders here. So you can see that split between the black and red Max D looks awesome. And then the roof is definitely yellow Max D, judging by the black and yellow tones of the logo. And then obviously the sides have yellow uh, with black spikes. The black spikes aren't part of real life Yellow Max D, but I think they're just extra details for this reckless truck. And it also has some rust on there. You'll also notice that it says 12 time champion, which the real truck never said, but they keep updating the roofs anyway. So that's pretty cool. And then the back side here has the Silver Max D yet again, uh, going down to the tailgate. Both sets of taillights are punched out. They're no longer there. And then the back fenders or the wings of the truck on the back are Red Max D with some rust and sun damage detail going up the back. And then the left side panel is the black Max D. So that is insane. And they have a lot of cool little rust details. They have the silver Max D logo, Tom Mentz, and uh, there's the black fender. And then if you notice here, the front fender is the red fender as well. So they still went a little more with the detail there, adding that red fender just to cut off the black area just a little more. So this thing is awesome. It, by the way, has a matte clear coat, obviously like all the other reckless trucks. And it has, as you also notice here, the front engine Wilman chassis from the Max D five pack. It also has red in the front for the red Max D rim, the yellow Max D back rim. We have a rusty brown to represent the reckless trucks and the silver rim for the classic Max D. It also contains a wheelie bar, which is made for the front engine, like I mentioned in series 17 with Bulldozer. And it is that new casting with the shocks for Max D. It is the same color, like a brownish black color for the reckless trucks roll cage and a silver wheelie bar wheel. So if you see that reckless trucks roll cage color, that's what it's matching. So um, giving my quick opinion here, I gotta say, I like Max D better than Gravedigger. And that's a tough determination there because they're both wonderful trucks in their rivalry and in the reckless trucks. But I love Black Max D and the way they did this, the way it looks like the post World Finals Encore body, I gotta say I love it more. And that's really pushing it there because I love Gravedigger, but this one is so well done. So for 2020, I'll give it to Gravedigger, but for 2021, there's only one fleet truck, so I'm gonna give it to Max D. But um, yeah, I gotta say my favorite definitely has to be with the Max D here. The next truck up is the Elementals Fire Gravedigger, so we're gonna open it up. So here it is, the Fire Elementals Gravedigger for 2021. If you notice, this body looks very similar to a previous body, which was the Fire Gravedigger from the All-Star Challenge and World Finals 20 Encore, as well as the Fire and Ice series by Spin Master in 2019, the first thematic series. This, however, is not meant to be this or vice versa. This is not a Team Fire truck, it's an Elementals Fire from the Elementals series in this year's subset. So this is not meant to be Gravedigger Fire and this is not meant to be Gravedigger Fire in the reverse. So if you notice the differences, I mean, there's major differences between these two trucks, but very similar in terms of this paint schemes. So here it is. Last year in 2020, we did receive a red fire dragon for the Elemental Series. So they're continuing that theme of the fire truck having a special body paint scheme. So that's really cool that they're doing that for Gravedigger. And the way they did Gravedigger looks absolutely crazy. So let's take a look at the graveyard here. You can see it is all orange toned up instead of the green and purple classic colors. The Gravedigger logo is the same. And uh, there's all that detail of the graveyard. The base paint color is a maroon color. And then if you notice the flames and the roof look very familiar, that's because they are from the Green Ghost Gravedigger of the past, just in red now. So they are actual flame colors instead of the green. And that's crazy to see too. I love 
that they did that. They really thought outside of the box here with uh, using Green Ghost uh, setup for a normal flame color. So there's that roof panel, obviously, from the Green Ghost again right there with that awesome looking orange to yellow gradient in the bad to the bone and that face looks insane. So I'm sure a lot of Gravedigger fans, especially the Green Ghost fans, are going to love this thing. I really love it. It has a fluorescent orange roll cage with a red-orange chassis, those fire-molded tires with black rims, a red wheelie bar, a fluorescent orange wheel, and uh, there is the Gravedigger from the Elemental series, Fire, right there. That's an awesome new truck. And next up is the Bro Camino, a brand new Monster Jam truck that debuted in 2020. Let's unbox it. So the moment when Bro Camino was announced and debuted and everywhere in between that time to now, people have been asking me, collectors, kids, parents, is Bro Camino coming? Are they going to make Bro Camino? Obviously at the time I couldn't answer that because I actually didn't know myself until late 2020, but uh, here it is. This is the Bro Camino from the Diesel Brothers team. And when I say that, I obviously mean the Brodozer versus Bro Camino, the team of diesel powered trucks. Uh, although this one in real life is actually run off of methanol, uh, this one is run off of diesel, but uh, both of them are teammate trucks to each other. We've had two different versions in the past, and uh, well, as well as an inverse truck, and now we have a Bro Camino. And I love Bro Camino. I honestly favor Bro Camino over Bro Dozer. I love the El Camino car shape that they use for the real truck. And if you notice, it looks a little different than the real life truck because they are using the original rendering plan. So they did keep the roof rack, they did keep the bumper. I don't think it takes away from the truck. I think it actually makes it look much better. But um, the real truck does not have these accessories. They never have put them on the truck yet. Bro Dozer, on the other hand, has the accessories at pit parties but does not run it in competition. So here it is, the Bro Camino with that beautiful orange paint scheme, the uh, Bro Camino logo with the uh, diesel power uh, guy in the middle there, the uh, Monster Jam logo, the front bumper in a dark charcoal gray. We have some grill printing with those headlights, the uh, diesel power logo again with orange and black on the hood. And then uh, that windshield, an interesting shape. I'm not sure why it's uh, like curved up there. If you guys have an explanation for that or if you know about El Caminos, please uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, they do have those extra bits of uh, window on the sides there. And you can see that light bar on the uh, top of the roof rack. And then I'm assuming for the point of support, they added this extra bit of roof rack right here uh, just so it doesn't kind of snap if you push on it because there's no extension here to keep that stable. Uh, so they did add that extra bit of the roof rack there. And if you notice, they do have some stabilizers to hold it in place on the casting. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting how they did this. The Brodozer does not have these, so they did make it a little safer for kids, which I totally understand. Um, and I'm glad they didn't do a full negative space bar. It would be too busy back here. So they did just a post for the back of the uh, El Camino body. And uh, the tailgate, like the real truck has, has the giant monstergm.com in black across it. I'm glad they kept that detail. That's a very important thing because that's what the tailgate looks like on the real truck. They also have the black tail lights and a black roll cage with a gray chassis and some nice bright orange rims with a nice bright orange wheelie bar and a black wheelie bar wheel. And the last truck before the chase piece, this is the raw crustacean. And I'm just gonna open this thing right up because I really wanna talk about it. Okay, this thing has such a big story behind it, so I'm gonna to try to cut it down to the best of my ability. Uh, basically, this truck would not be possible without the help of Bob Hagen Diggers Diecast. I've mentioned him many times in my videos in the past. So the story goes that when Team Crustacean announced that they were gonna have this raw body, uh, Diggers Diecast Bob, he made a bunch of customs of it. He hand painted them, they looked insane, and he gave me one to give to Jordan at Spin Master. And when I delivered that to Jordan, when uh, the office was still open, this was before the pandemic really hit, um, Jordan, that day that we sat down together, when I gave him that gift, he goes, I'm going to slate that for next year right now. And I didn't know if he slated it until late 2020, like seven or eight months later after that conversation. And sure enough, I saw the rendering of Rock Crustacean on the master list of the trucks, and I was so excited. And then when they released the poster image of the actual rendering up close, I was even more excited because it looks so accurate. I didn't know if Jordan was going to hand create the artwork again or if Team Crustacean would supply it, but it looks like uh, Team Crustacean did supply the artwork. So this thing is hyper accurate. By the way, a fun fact, this body has actually never run Monster Jam. So to have this truck in the Monster Jam lineup is even better uh, just to have it, you know, as a die cast model. So I think that Team Crustacean will be very pleased, at least I hope they will, with what came of it uh, of a die cast form. So here it is, my 
one of my favorite trucks of the year, and I say that not lightly at all. I love this thing. This is the raw crustacean body, my favorite crustacean to ever run currently. Uh, so you can see they have all the detail in the truck. It has a bunch of different shading levels, so the color is not just a singular uniform color like we usually see with crustacean. At least in the die cast form, the real truck does not have a singular color either. It's more like this uh, randomized color. So uh, maybe in the future, Jordan will try to revisit that. But for right now, um, this raw crustacean is the centerpiece i am just so excited so you can see it says raw on the knuckle of the claw um obviously signifying raw crustacean um if you don't get the joke here the body is basically a raw lobster which are this color um in nature and then when you cook a lobster it actually looks like this so uh this is a raw crustacean uh lobster and there's a monster Jam logo the crustacean logo in uh yellow green and orange and then you can see they have these hand painted areas that the truck has in orange and blue uh, the McLaughlin Seafood uh, Claw Bands right there. And uh, this side also with randomized paint colors and uh, splattering like the real truck again. Nothing in the real truck is super uniform. It's just all hand painted. So uh, they recreated that really well with all the level of detail and shading that they got done in this truck. And um, let's check out the roof here because the roof has a big story. And uh, if you notice... The first thing I'll start up is actually up here. Uh, it says 10 years of terribleness. This was the 10th anniversary of crustacean body. So uh, there that is, that's called the angry lobster. He's holding on to some buoys, which if you look closely actually have some uh, some sponsors, but I think because they don't have contracts with Moss Gym, they had to kind of blur them out. Uh, I believe one says Brooks, one says, uh, I forget the other ones, but I know there's one that says Rod Ends, one that says Castle. I think you can actually see the Castle one right there, the yellow. Uh, that one is a McLaughlin Seafood, the white one. And I can't remember the other two, but um, they did a pretty good job uh, blurring those out, but still making them very useful in the paint scheme. So 10 years of terribleness, kind of a joke on itself, um, the truck itself. They're just a funny team. So you can see it has some orange hand-painted splattering. And then we get to the bottom of the tail and you see this little, this dog, this Pomeranian. And man, I was just blown away when I saw that they added this detail. This is on the real truck. And if you're wondering why there's a dog on a lobster, it's because Greg has a Pomeranian and his name is Cooper, but his nickname is Little Dog. And he was taking him to shows and he had him inside the rock crustacean rim and stuff. So they painted him on the tail. And I'll put a picture on screen of the real dog, Cooper, Little Dog, and also the backside of crustacean so you can see that detail. So when Jordan made this or design team made this, they still added the dog. And that is the coolest detail I've ever seen on diecast anything. So that is awesome. That is just insane that the level of detail went to the, the farthest point possible with this truck by adding the dog on the back there. It also has solid orange rims with the black tires, black roll cage, and gray chassis with an orange wheelie bar with a greenish color wheelie bar wheel. This is going to be one of my top trucks of the year, no doubt about it. It is awesome to have the full crustacean fleet here and um, just the improvements overall with the different body color tones, the larger logo. Uh, this truck has improved significantly and also they added these two-tone uh, green eyes for this crustacean. And the last truck of this long review is the Showtime Trucks Megalodon. We're not going to take too much time on it, so let's unbox it. Okay, so here it is, the Chase Piece truck for the Series 18 assortment. So Chase Piece meaning limited quantity produced, so they're not as wildly spread as normal trucks. The difference with a normal Megalodon versus this is that they painted the shocks blue and added the chrome header printing on the motor. They have the BKT tires and the blue rims as well. And uh, the last chase piece we had was the Black El Toro Loco with a similar style uh, setup for the uh, Showtime look. And then the first one we had of 2021 was the Grave Digger. So out of these three that we currently have, I gotta say the El Toro Loco is still my favorite. My least favorite actually is this Megalodon. It's not that it's not a good truck. I just out of the three currently, I just feel like it's not the strongest one. So there it is, the Megalodon uh, with the standard Megalodon body and a blue wheelie bar with black wheel um, right there. So that's going to wrap up this review. Nothing too special about this to talk about. Rocker Station was really the highlight of my review. So I want to thank Spin Master for supplying these early. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and like this video. I always upload new Spin Master content before it reaches the shelves due to my partnership with the company. So if you guys are new here, please feel free to subscribe. And thank you guys for all your continued support if you've been here since the start. I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan Ramos, GMOCD, signing out.